What is the post section in a Jenkins pipeline? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.2. And I also have the four jobs that we're going to be looking at in this video. The link to the gist that has the definition of these four jobs is down in the description. Now, what is the post section? If you're a Java programmer, you're probably familiar with try, catch, and finally. Post is very similar to the finally. So let's go in and take a look at job one. And with job one, what we have is a very straightforward pipeline where we're just echoing out within our steps. This is the echo step. And then we're doing a post. If this is successful, then we're going to echo out. This is the stage post message. Now, this post is within just this stage. When we take a look at the output for job one, what we see is this is the echo step. And then it says post stage. So this is the post part of the stage. And then this is the stage post message. Those are the two echoes that we just added in. But because there was a post within the stage, this was echoed out for us. Now let's go over and take a look at job two. With job two, what we have defined is the exact same stage with the post stage, but we've now added in a post section that is at the global level. It's alongside the same level as agent and stages. And here I've defined two different conditions, one for success and one for failure. The link for the documentation for post is also down in the description. There are numerous other conditions that you can also add into post, both at the stage level and at the global level. So what we have here, again, beginning with our stages, we have one post stage that's associated with the hello stage. And then globally, we have a post for both success and for failure. When we take a look at the output for job two, we can see this is the echo step, just like job one. We see our call out for post stage, and then this is the stage for post success message. And then finally, we get down to the overall, and we see the overall post success message that was defined within our pipeline. Now let's go take a look at job three, because at this point, what we've seen is we've got a post at a stage level, and we have a post at the global level, but there's actually one more condition that we can use that's very useful and it's called cleanup. So let's go take a look at job three. And with job three, we look exactly like job two, except we've added in one more condition at the very bottom of our global post, and that is for cleanup. So what that means is we're gonna be running our stages just like normal. We're gonna be evaluating our conditions for post, but because we have defined a cleanup, this will be run regardless of what the other conditions are. If we take a look at the output of job three, again, here's our stage part. This is the echo step, post stage, this is the stage post. And then we get down into the global section. This is the overall post success message. And then we also have, this is the overall post cleanup message. I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't show you at least one failing scenario. So let's go take a look at job four. With job four, what we have, the pipeline is exactly the same, except we change our stage just a little bit. What we have now, instead of just echoing out, I'm doing an sh false, which will cause this stage to fail, which means we should not see a success message for the stage level. We should see the output for the failure at the global level, and we should also see the cleanup. If we take a look at the job run of four, we see our faults, and we do not see our success message, which is good because we didn't expect to see it. Then we also have our, this is the overall post failure message because the pipeline has failed, but because we also have cleanup in here, we also see the output for cleanup. This is the overall post cleanup message. So in this last job, we forced a failure within our stage. And since we did not have a failure handler for our post in the stage, we didn't see anything extra for that. But since we did have a failure condition handler in our global post section, we got the output from that. And just like job three, cleanup runs regardless of the condition state. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.